Hey, Brandon, you there? Yeah. All right, everybody. So we're going to do this more fun with Brandon stuff. So, Brandon, you have gone to work on the sketch cover. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. So he, he didn't know I was going to record this stuff. That's why he, he was like, yeah, I'm here. Now he's all nice. It's, you see how that works? See how it changes for the camera? Hi, everybody. Yeah, see the difference? Before, he was being like asshole Brandon, but now he's on camera Brandon. So it's real nice. No, that was caught off guard Brandon. Mmm, I just didn't know he was being recorded until now Brandon. That's what I just said. So let's go look at this. This is what you sent him, right? Mm -hmm. I told you to probably ditch the orange light rim thing. I think I think it'll look cool but it's something that it's not gonna work for this piece. It's gonna add something that doesn't make any sense. Um, couple things. So one, I'm thinking the thing I want you to try is something like this, where you take the blue pencil and you need to, like, in the shade only, you go over and you add blue into the shade, like I said before. But you're going over with the stroke lines, the same as you would with the markers. Mm -hmm. Do you see how it adds curvature? Right. And that would include all the way back here. If you can't do giant long strokes, Brandon, you just very slowly. Right. You know, you probably even get to the point where you can turn the pencil on its side a little bit, you know? I can't emulate that effect here, because you know, this is digital. Right. But you can get a broader stroke with and kind of go. And then over this way, it would be here, like this. We do this and, live, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then right around here, the bicep, or anywhere where like this should be the darkest point. This comes to, it's called a core shadow. Do you know what core shadowing is, Brandon? Somewhat. You no, know, it's on that Scott Robertson rendering services DVD. Mm -hmm. And you gotta come here and wherever the highest the highest point is will have your darkest the highest point of an object will have its darkest point and its brightest point simultaneously. And the more bright it is means the more shinier an object it is, right? So like if this were like completely metal or specular, you would have something like like that, right? Like if he was all gotcha. oiled up and shit. You know, if it's, it's more of a matte surface, it's... See how it's like... And you see how, like, those two things... Pop it forward? Yeah. Now, you gotta be careful when you're rendering these darks that you don't add a giant ridge line right here. Um, you have to, like go and just blend it smoothly with the pencil. There's only so much, again, digitally doesn't allow me to... There's certain things you can't replicate digitally, folks. Like That's why they have things like smudge brushes and shit. Yeah. So, but it can be smoother. I know it can because I've done it, like on my Wolverine. On the Wolverine sketch cover I did, you can see lots of smooth. You know. You don't contrast enough in your art, Brandon. You just kind of add like a little bit, like here, kind of like, ah. 
there, I put some blue in, afraid to screw it up. Like, you gotta come here and define shades, man. Okay. It's gonna have color in the shade. That's the whole point of using the color pencils to do that, or in this case, your color raise pencil. I'm just keeping it in one pencil so you're not mixing tens of fucking colors because I know like what happens is the minute Brandon gets the minute Brandon gets a handful of pencils, ooh, it's it scary. Like <laughs> you should see the sweat. Every pencil adds another. It's almost like I put on weights for your brain. Like you know, like 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 when yeah. you lift, Brandon, you're a big power lifter, and you stack the weights. You don't have a problem with it, but if I put one, two, three colors in your hand, and ugh, it all falls. I don't know which one to use when, what am I doing, I don't know. So I'm trying to get you to use one fucking thing. You know, what I want, Brandon, and what I think this thing needs is some energy. Which, if you referenced the last video, I was I was saying it needs energy. Mm -hmm. The way to get the energy is when you're coloring, you hold it, you hold the pencil further back. Around, around here. You know, and you, you start to scribble in here, Brandon, with the pencil. You know? And while you're scribbling, you're rendering the surf, you're sh adding shape. And this, the reason why I say scribble is because, do you know anything about cross-hatching, Brandon? A little bit. So, cross-hatching is like this. If you want to get a surface, you get like this, right? And you go, okay, uh, I want to make more of a surface, so then you hatch. And so what it's doing is it's adding darkness right yeah it's adding darkness and then you go over here and you see how like if I go lighter to the top and darker at the bottom and then and I have to rotate the page a little bit sometimes and then you hatch another way and you hatch and those hatches what they're doing is they're filling in the spaces right they're filling in the spaces that the pencil doesn't get on the first pass And then the more spaces toward the top, the lighter it appears. It's an illusion. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Does this make sense? Yes. It's an illusion. Okay. So what I'm just trying to say is, like, the, I don't remember what color I picked here. I think it was this one. Yeah, hard to say. Oh, it's on my normal one. Well. So, I think, though, like, when it gets up close, I think it might not need as much screw. I, I like this, personally speaking, I like this, you see the strokes are going like, I like this sort of, it could probably be a little, a little bigger, how you can see, uh, emulate turning the pencil on the side, these little individual strokes, the closer you get. Right. I think it, it looks cool, okay? So that's one technique, right? Right. And then as it gets here, toward the darker part, you have to kind of like blend it a little bit. Right? Where you go lighter and then darker, you press a little more, you press more towards the edge, right? To create. And look, this is going to take practice to figure out what is the medium. You know, what is the balance right. to making this look good? And then I'm adding a little bit in between each finger to try to pop the fingers forward. And you got don't push it too far, you know? Because you're only making what? Thirty bucks on these things? Forty bucks? How much how much are you making per I think like thirty. Thirty bucks, right? So you've already spent a month. Right? <laughs> to make thirty dollars. Um So at a con you're not gonna have a lot of time to do it. What I'm trying to do is get a feel for very quickly coming in here and saying, you know, how can you get some good... And look, fuck quick. I'm just saying don't overdo it. Alright? Yeah. It needs to... Uh, see all that added energy? Like, you go back, see how static it looks? Yeah. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to add more life to the image. You know, more life to the image. Which means... Some of this stuff's a little imperfect, but it's adding texture, it's adding life, it's adding emotion, it's putting something into it. You know, and then while you're working, Brandon, feel free to sometimes, right, to 
kind of lightly kind of go around some of the edges and some of the stuff to kind of anywhere where it, it, it it's not perfect right bandages aren't perfect right I got one on my finger right now because I was using a Parmesan cheeser and I grated my thumb right up didn't even notice took a, took a whole chunk of fucking skin right off it's real fun that was my night last night which people wondered why were you streaming I'm like well because I Parmesan my finger so that wasn't happening um and that's what happens when you cook but what I'm trying to say is you come around here and you just lightly add little ticks and little... You, you ever see someone when they clean up a sketch and it looks lifeless? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I don't I don't want you to lose energy or life. I want a little bit of this stuff in here. And you, so, you know, and you come across and... Don't go crazy, hardening... Because the... the the crazy part is is when it starts to turn into a Scott Wood. Look, I love my image comics, right? But you want to be careful you're not doing, you know, metallic and everything up, right? Right. So, but you want to come here into the color, into the shade with the blue, you know, and go over the shapes and add it, Brandon. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't think you did this enough. I, yeah, I mean, I, I tried to do it. I just didn't do it enough to it. Yeah, was, nowhere near uh, enough. You can't even see it. See, I want to see these. Your Barry Windsor Smith kind of did this to his art back in the day, and Jim Lee picked up on it. You want to see Jim Lee's biggest influence? Go look at Barry Windsor Smith stuff. You know, you can see a direct correlation, and you can see if you go look at like the original inks for Logan, you'll see it. Or the Weapon X, remember the Weapon X miniseries? Where he's in the first one, where he's in the snow and all that gear. Go look at it. You'll see. See Barry Windsor Smith doing exactly what I'm doing now. You know, with inks, but we're at putting it into the shade. You're not putting it all over his fucking arm and turning him blue, right? Right. Just around the shade. And then we come around here, and you, you're gonna have to re rotate the page a little bit, probably, right? Because you want to keep these curves. And we're gonna accentuate some of these muscles. It's gonna go a little darker. It's not exactly realistic, but, you know, it's still fucking comic book art. You gotta come here and do this tedious little fucking shit. All the way through. Like I'm doing now. And then... You gotta be careful about this. This is where you're rendering surfaces, because if you break the wrong tick lines, it's gonna look stupid. Go down a little bit there and kind of pop it out. I mean, look, this is not realist. This is not real. This is digital. This is fakers. It's gonna have a different look to it. But this is what I'm just trying to say, Brandon. Like, it needs pop. And it needs... I just... I don't understand. I don't understand why it takes so long. But I don't understand a lot of things. I don't understand why Taco Bell can't just use ground beef instead of fucking, you know, whatever, whatever magic trick they're using to pretend that's food. I don't understand these things. No, that's that right now. And then you come here... I sort of think like these sort of things can just be shaped better. You got these little marks, but they should be shaped better. Pretend these are like textures in a toy, dude. If these were little nicks in your toy, you'd want to see a little bit more of a gouge, a little bit more of a shape design. You got to think about shape design to everything, including battle damage. Battle damage shape design. Just like the He-Man toys back in the day. They don't just get nicked up, they actually have to have a design to them. And then you gotta think about this surface here, which would kind of come out a little bit. And then this comes vertically straight down. This means you gotta see the surface as three-dimensionally, Brandon. And then you gotta add the shade accordingly.
And I don't know what you're doing. Did you do any white highlight yet? Yeah. Yeah, you need to press down a little bit, bro. Huh. Did you get the Prismacolor ones, or are you using the... I... <laughs> the one I used is a... Uh, I had a graphite tint white, because the other ones is polychromo, so I used this graphite one. My advice? Get a Prismacolor white. Needs more white. Gotta pop it out, bro. Telling you. Yeah. You know. And these bandages need. To, once you get all done, you gotta observe and say, okay, where can I push and pull on some areas? I wanna make sure I don't lose the bandages. Done, you take some of that white fucking paint of yours, you know, the opaque white paint, and you make sure his eyes are popped out. You can even come back across with that color pencil when you're done and just see if, you know, you put a little bit of white. If it's too dark, you know, if it's too dark, you can add a few little bits of white into the glove to pop it back out. It will work. Right. I know because I've done it a hundred fucking times, dude. Like, do you have anything to add? Am I missing anything? No, no. I, I, you show me. The areas I gotta push even further. I think I get sometimes I get in my head where I think, oh, I'm, you know, going too much, and that's usually in the wrong direction. But you know, you show me where I need to go even further in the right direction. So now I just gotta execute it. Have you seen my uh, Wolverine sketch cover I did? The color pencil. The old man Logan. No. The 90s Wolverine. Oh. Yeah. This one. You can see right here how I'm putting blue in. And this is me putting light blue, but I can go in and tint anything with any color pencil. You can tint wherever you want. You know? They're quite amazing, Brandon. You know? Yeah. And you can see all the little textures. And, and I'm going to tell you, people like it. They like <laughs> seeing all that stuff. I get it on the internet, it doesn't get a lot of likes, you know, but the internet doesn't pay Rob, people do. So, right. like, I got a commission coming up right now, bro, that, you know, is going to pay more than my freelance work, you know, because I've been doing this. It's One commission is going to pay more doing this than any of my freelance work for the last month. Right. You know, and so I don't, like, that's, I think that's the problem, folks, like, I get I, I'm not famous on the internet. I get it. Okay? But the one thing I know how to do is sell my fucking art to people. I can assure you, this is this is what paid for all this. I've been doing it. Brandon, you've seen me do it. You know? like, yeah. And I want Brandon to be able... I want you all to be able to sell you. I, I really do. Because, you know, like... If it just doesn't... Be, I just don't get a rise out of being the best dude. I don't. It doesn't interest me. I like to see people improve. You know? Right. I get annoyed... When I have to continually have the same fucking conversation, you know, a hundred times, um, that's why we're doing this. So people can hear how annoyed I am. Uh, and they can hear how uncomfortable you get. And I really like how they heard how you were, what? You know, and then now you're all nice. That I like. So, I wasn't being a dick. Uh, no, a but sometimes you pop off, bro. Like, I'm just saying. Sometimes you do. Because you got you got wife needs you, you got other stuff. To, I don't care. You know, it's annoying. To put it this way, whatever I'm doing now is coming out of my day too. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got things to do today, Brandon, I got things to do. We both got things. Matter of fact, I was supposed to finish this fucking thing yesterday, but I parmesan my thumb. Okay. 
So that wasn't happening last night. Hurt. So here we are. Here we are, Brendan, together. Going over this again. Again. So um, please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Give it a shot. You can't possibly ruin the cover. If you do, I'll just make you do it over again. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you understand how this works? Folks, you can't mess this up. You just start over from scratch. Which I've had to do. Yeah, how many times now? Double. Mm-hmm. You think I have it? All right. I mean, I mean, honestly, folks, do you, I mean... To get to here took tons of uh, tests. Test, 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 test. Matter of fact, I even, that cover was initially done. Did I post it on here? No, 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 no. It's on the Facebook. Let's go to the Facebook. When I was, oh shit, this might be a, let's see. Let's go to photos. And let's, oh motherfucker. So, come here. So we'll go to mobile photos. And we'll scroll all the way down. There's all the close ups I did. And see, like, here's a test piece I did, right? Just a little test to see if I can get that to work. That's that's one little piece I've shared. There's 15 other ones lying around this fucking room that I should have been drawing covers or power prints, but I was fucking around with that. Can we go back to... See, I'm trying to scroll back to... Look at all these fucking things I did. You know? These commissions here. And then, remember this fucking thing way back when? Mm-hmm. So, like... For some reason, all the... Uh, where's the stuff from Vegas gone? Hmm. It's not on here. I may not have shared the Vegas con stuff here. I may have put that on the Instagram. Oh, well. But there was tons of practice, folks. Tons and tons and tons. And tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Just to get it on the sketch cover material, which can be a fucking colossal pain in both our asses. Correct, Brandon? Mm-hmm. So. Um, so what are you going to do next? Add pop and magic and depth. Put color into the shadow, right? Yeah. That's where the color pencils mixed with the markers help, right? Right? They give you something. <coughs> you have yet to understand how that fully works, I think. I think for some reason that doesn't make a lot of sense to you. Am I mistaken about that or? No. Any questions? No, I, th- I think you covered it all. Awesome. So you're going to go and do this tonight, and we're all going to be amazed with the results, right? Correct. All right, Brandon, that's it. 